Hello everyone, my name is Hong and welcome to my first video I'm making for this new channel. You might have seen some of my earlier videos first posted on my other channel. And as I've discussed in my trailer, I decided to start this channel solely for the purpose of documenting my travels, camping, hiking, and all sorts of other journeys. So if you're interested, do consider subscribing. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing and setting up my all new Cosmito tent from One Tigress. Let's go! One Tigress was founded in Shenzhen, China, and the brand is known for its camping, bushcraft, and tactical gear. They manufacture decent quality products at affordable prices and have been winning over enthusiasts from all corners of the world. So why did I choose the Cosmito? Firstly, it's one of the brand's newer products in their range of tents. And because the company is one that actually listens to feedback, then in this case, newer should be better. Secondly, being a two-person tent, it will be the ideal size for what I need. Thirdly, it is designed for easy solo setup, which is always a good thing. All right, so we're done with the unboxing. Let's take a look at what's inside the sack. So here we've got the tent body or the inner, four guy lines, 10 stakes or 10 pegs, two long aluminum tent poles for the inner and one short aluminum tent pole for the rainfly, as well as the rainfly. The total weight for everything here you see is about 2.45 kilograms or 5.4 pounds. All right, so I'm looking at the pegs as well as the guy lines. And if you look at the edges of, the, of where the cords are, you could see that they're just cut and they're slightly burnt, but not burnt properly. So it could still fray after a long period of use. So my advice is to just use a lighter and then melt that little bit just so it will last a little bit longer. According to the website, setting up this tent should not take more than 10 to 15 minutes. So let's pitch the tent up and take a closer look. This One Tigress Cosmito Dome Tent is a three-season tent, good for early spring till late autumn, for those of you who live in areas with such climates. Here in Singapore, the only thing we need to worry about will be insane heat, mosquitoes, and monsoon rains. And the Cosmito should serve well, as the inner is mostly made up of nylon mesh, allowing for airflow while acting as a barrier for mosquitoes and bugs. It also has a 1500mm waterproof rating as well as a bathtub style inner to keep me safe and dry on the inside. Well, as you can see, setting up the main body of the tent is super easy. You basically just need to stake out the four corners, extend the aluminum poles, and then attach the body to the poles. Now, before I go on to put on the rain fly, I just want to give you guys a quick walkabout to see what the tent is like without the rain fly. Thank you. 
Its six-sided hexagon-shaped rainfly, or outer, is designed to deflect wind better than a conventional four-sided tent. Well, there we have it. Super easy setup. I may have gotten the sequence a little bit wrong. I think you're supposed to put that shorter aluminum pole onto the body before you put the rainfly, but as you saw in the video, it's absolutely okay to put the rainfly on first and then slot in that shorter aluminum pole afterwards. So on both sides of the tent, there are these openings that allow for better ventilation from inside the tent, which helps reduce heat and also condensation on the insides. There are also two openings to the tent, which makes it easy for access if it's one person or two people camping on both sides. And you also have the vestibule that extends outwards on both sides as well. So you could put some of your gear, dirty, muddy shoes or boots on the outside without bringing it in to the tent. There are also these adjustable anchors on all four corners with these quick release buckles that I really, really love because they make tightening down the tent a whole lot easier. You'll also get these YKK zippers on both doors or both entrances for smooth, leak-free and snag-free zipping. Here on the inside, you get the mesh pockets for you to stash away your cell phone or whatever other stuff you bring along with you for your camping trip and also an attachment up here in the middle of the tent for you to hang a little light or maybe even a little fan. Well, there we have it guys, my new One Tigress Cosmito two-person tent. The entire setup did not take more than 10 minutes, but I believe if you were to really stake it out with the guy lines and really extend its hex hexagon shape, then it might take a little bit more. But overall, very easy setup and it's a very good size as well if you're camping by yourself or even if it's two people. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that because it is starting to rain and it's going to be a heavy, heavy rain today. So I'm going to keep the camera equipment right now, but I'm going to leave the tent out just to see how well it handles these kind of torrential rains we get here in Singapore. Okay, so the rain has temporarily stopped for just a little bit. The skies are still really grey and dark and gloomy. It was raining, as you saw, super heavy for about four to five hours. And I've not opened up the tent. I'm pretty confident to find a very dry inside, but let's find out. Okay, so let's get on to the inside of the tent. First, we open up the vestibule. Unhook the pegs. Not easy to do this with one hand. It is completely dry. Not a single droplet of water on the inside of the tent. And that crazy downpour we just had. Very impressive. As you can see the inner, the bathtub, as they call it, is tape sealed. Very 
Very impressive. Okay, so I've opened up the tent up front as well as one of the doors on the rear entrance, so the second entrance. And I've got with me my Osprey 26 liter backpack, which I mostly use for hiking. And I'm gonna get inside and give you guys an example of what kind of space you have on the insides. Let's go. It's a pretty spacious tent. Just gonna get my flip flops off. And you can see with you can see with the backpack here. Let me just pull the camera in closer so you guys can get a better view. All right, so there we have it. Backpacks in with the corner. If you're camping solo, you're gonna have a lot of space and it'll be pretty comfortable. So I've been sitting here for a few minutes now and I think it's really important when you set this tent up to have the openings, either the front and or the rear, in the direction of where the wind is gonna come from because that would really help with the airflow and circulation. There we go, first look at my new Cosmito tent from One Tigress. If you guys have one of these, feel free to leave me a comment and let me know what you guys think about the tent. And if you guys are planning on getting one of these, then feel free to drop me a message as well and I will let you guys know what I think. Now, I've not gone camping in this yet. I will be bringing it with me on my next camping trip, whenever that may be. So if you're interested in joining me on my adventures, consider subscribing to the channel. Now, if you found this video useful and if you've enjoyed the video, please leave it a thumbs up. That's all I've got for you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.